Hello. Uh, I'm responding to some requests to do a little bit more on the Mini Cooper air conditioning uh, clutch coil. Uh, they tend to, at least from what I've seen uh, on the internet in this particular vehicle, they tend to burn out. Um, so I had to replace one on this and um, some people had asked me some questions about testing it because it is a real bugger to get to. Um, so here's how we can test it. Now on this particular car, this is a 04 non-aspirated, non-supercharged, uh, uh, just a regular Mini Cooper base model with the variable uh, transmission in it, um, uh, 2004 like I said. So if you, on this particular car, uh, there may be some slight variations, but there's a cover right there by the battery and it has all the fuses and stuff. Take that off and see if I can get it to do it without glare, which is kind of tough. But if you look at it and you see right here there's like a, a relay that says, uh, has a picture of a snowflake. That's your air conditioner relay and it's number two position. And it's pretty obvious. You kind of look at the way this is laid out. This is uh, one, so this is your number two. You just wiggle it, pull that out. Here's your relay. And you say, what are all these connections on there? Well, they've actually given you a uh, circuit diagram. It's hard to see, so what I did was draw this out on a piece of paper. Um, the pins on here are numbered. If you look at it, it's, it's, uh, you have to have glasses on if you're old like me, uh, but these pins are individually numbered. And the number 30 would be a direct feed from the battery, uh, and that's open until the circuit's energized. Now the 85 and 86 those are uh, the terminals for your trigger connection. So you're going along and you push the button inside the car that says air condition. Well, all of a sudden power is sent through this circuit here and it energizes a uh, electromagnet and it closes this circuit. And this is a, a heavy connection. It can take a lot of heavy current. The button inside your car can't take heavy current so that's why they do it like this and then the two outputs. Now the Mini only uses one output. It's just the, these, coil, these uh, relays are made for the generic purposes. Um, if you notice they all look the same. Um, it's not just for the air conditioner. But your load would be on the 87 or 87, these two terminals. Um, so when you pull the uh, relay out like that, if you look at the pins, you can tell uh, which one is 87. And now I've drawn that out for you on this paper, where these ones that point that direction is your 30 with the power in, 86 and uh, 85 for your um, trigger circuit. And then these are the, uh, the switched load for your AC compressor. So on this particular one, um, we have a multimeter right here. It's turned on and I can test it. I've got it on the uh, ohm setting which is how you can test continuity if you're not familiar with it. And if I connect these two together here, I get a really low ohms reading which on this meter that's about normal. So uh, when I connect this this is set to a ground and the other end of your coil uh, to complete the circuits obviously ground so you're just worried about the power side through the ground now this would be the 87 terminal and when I push on this I get a fairly low but not the same reading as when we connected it directly through the two test leads it's about 4.2 so the coil has continuity and it looks like the coil is, should be still working. Um, if you don't get any circuit through there, 
uh, if it looks just like this where there's no you know there's no continuity through these two test leads you probably have a bad coil which happens on these and people have asked me well, where did you get a coil many says you have to get the whole compressor and the clutch and everything um, I, I looked on eBay and found some people that were selling just the coil and I have other videos that show how uh, I was able to change the, the uh, AC coil it's a bugger on this car because everything is so crunched in there but uh, it is doable by shade tree mechanics and um, good luck with that um, I hope this helps uh, diagnose your AC compressor clutch uh, coil and good luck thanks for subscribing to my channel subscribers appreciate it